morning good evening and uh, a very good day for everybody i am a, a retired firefighter i am my name is him noronha and i teach uh, physics and, geom and mathematics in portuguese of course because um, it's my native language but today i'm going to try a real challenge i'm going to teach a little bit of geometry in english and um, so i hope you know that uh, portuguese is my mother language maybe i will have a difficult uh, now and then but let's go anyway um, geometry is all about measure land in portuguese medir terra uh, that uh, start to happen in egypt a very long time ago uh, they had a kind of temples that they called something like mastabas, similar to these ones. And they had an idea to build pyramids. So, um, what kind of geometry you have to know? The basic is, uh, you need to know where you find an angle of 90 degrees and all of those, those triangles have these because the first one has a measure of 3, 4 and 5 the second one 6, 8 and 10 and the third one 9, 12 and 15 uh, it so it doesn't matter if it's uh, uh, three centimeters, four centimeters, and five centimeters, uh, three meters, or and four meters and ten meters, um, nine miles, twelve miles, fifteen miles. No matter if you have this proportion, you are sh you may be sure that this angle is 90 degrees. The Egyptians didn't know why, but it happened every little time. So if you want to build something as precise as a pyramid, you need to know how to find a 90 degrees uh, angle. So the way they did it is to find proportions of three, four, and five. Um, so, when, when you know this, you can measure the area of different um, shapes. So, you have here, it's a square. Uh, so, what's the area? You just have to count how many little squares you have here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, here you have eight, eight again 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 so if you add it up you have eight plus eight uh eight times so it's the same as eight time times eight so you may say that the area is eight square all right so if the measure is different than 8, you call it L. So what's the rule? The rule is the area of a square is a square L. But if you have it a little bit differently, for example, rectangle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 here, 12 here, and so on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. So the area here is 12 times 7. So if you um, make the calculation, 4 times 2, oh, sorry, 7 times 2 is 14. Uh, 7 times 1 is 7 plus 1, 84, for example, centimeters square. So, if the measure here is uh, age for height and L for length, the area will be L times age. 
You can do the same with a parallelogram. I don't know if it's the right word in English, but it sounds to be right. So to measure this uh, size, I'll make this line here and I cut its triangle and put it right there. So the new area will be this one, which coincides with the area of a rectangle. So what this measure here, this is the base. No matter if you dislodge it to this place. And this is the height. So the area of the parallelogram coincides with the area of the rectangle. So the area here is the same as B times H. And how about a triangle? If you cut the triangle in two, you have it in two different parts of the same area. So the area of a triangle is the half of the area of a parallelogram, so base times height divided by two. The same here you can uh, you can use to calculate the Pythagoras uh, theorem. For example, if this size here is B and the size here is 3C, in symmetry, you can find here that the size here is B and the size here is C and so on. So, if you complete here, you can notice that the area of the bigger square is B plus C square. But let's see those four triangles. The area of a triangle is the height times the base divided by two. But we have one, two, three, four triangles. And here, let's say that the, the size here is A. Uh, in Portuguese, is hipotenusa, so it seems to be something similar in English. So, hypotenusa, or something like that. So, age square, because it's a square. If you develop here, what will have? B square, 2 times B times C. C square, here you can divide it, uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so we have 2BC plus A square. But here it's the same, so you can cut both sides. So here you can prove that B square plus C square is a square, there's a Pythagoras um, theorem for this particular triangle. Um, how about the area here? So, uh, let's take this one as an example. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, the line here is seven in length. This one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15. Ah. So, what do you suppose this line will be? So, you have 4 here and 4 here. So, the purple line must be the average between 7 and 15. So, 15 plus 7 is 22 divided by 2, so this line is 11. No, let's complete it like this. I'll make this line and this line here. If you see this triangle, is the same area of this one here. So, the area here is the same of the area here. So, 
this area will be 11 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 11 times 8, so it's 88 centimeters square. So, what's the logic here? Let's say that 7 is little b. Let's say that 15 is the bigger b. So, what uh, calculation I made to find this 11 here? b plus b divided by 2, that's the average, times height. So, that's the area here specifically. Uh, let's go on. This is Losango. Lo I, I don't know how can I say this in English. But anyway, if you complete like this, it will look like the Brazilian flag. So, what's the area here? Um, let me make this red line. That's the bigger diagonal. Let's make the blue line. That's a small diagonal. Right? So, the area in green will be the area of a rectangle. That's D times D. Li bigger D and uh, little d. But if you notice that it's uh, this triangle here is the same area of this triangle here and so on. The area inside the losango you just have to divide by 2. So let's go on. That's um, an equal, equal sizes uh, triangle. So this is L. This is L. Uh, this is the height of the triangle. By symmetry, you can say this is L divided by 2. And this triangle, if we apply the Pythagorean um, theorem, what we have? L divided by 2 squared plus H squared is L squared. So, let's develop it here. H squared, L squared. Uh, L squared divided by 4, that's 4, that's 2 squared. So, we can multiply here by 4, up and down. So, 4 less 1 is 3. Uh, so, H squared is 3. L squared divided by 4. If we calculate the root, both sides... What do we have? We have that H is L, 3 square divided by 2. So, the area will be the height, that's L, 3 square divided by 2, times the base, the base is L, divided by 2. So, L square, uh, the root of 3 divided by 2 by 2 is divided by 4. So, that's the area here. Let's go on. So, what's the area of this triangle if all I know is A, B, and this angle here? So, I need to know what's the height. So, the calculation is H divided by A is sin of theta. So, H will be A sin of theta. Um, now, we can find the area, that's B times H divided by 2. So, B times A sin t theta divided by 2. So, let's go on. Um, the area of a circle. 
So I divided in three, in four, five, six, seven, eight pizza slides. Let's put those pizza slides like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Oh, I need one more. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's okay now. Uh, of course, if you divide more, you will be more precise. But anyway, this size here is the half of a circle. And the half of a circle is pi times r. r is this mentioned here from the center to the limit of a circle. All right, and the size here is r itself. Of course, that will be more precise if I get more slices of pizza. Okay, so it's similar to the area of this rectangle here. Similar, quite similar. Okay. So, what's the area of this rectangle? Pi times r times r, that's pi r squared. So, let's go on. What's the area of this part here? The, uh, a pizza sli slice. Well, in this particular case, I divided the, the pizza, that the area pi r square by 8. But what 8 means in this particular context? Um, let's think that I, I have here an angle that's part of the circle itself. So 8 is 360 divided by the angle alpha. So, if I substitute here, pi times square air, 306 divided by alpha, which means alpha times pi r square divided by 360. Uh, let's go on. Uh, the area of um, a crown, in Portuguese is crown, right? Crown. This word uh, in, in Portuguese means crown. I don't know if it's exactly this in, uh, in English. Anyway, it's the area of the big circle less the area of the small circle. I can make those um, calculations here. So that's a result, but I can also develop one, once more to get this result here. In this case, particularly any one of these are valid. So, um, in this class itself, um, I have more to say, but I think that's enough. To stop here because uh, I spent uh, more than 15, 18 minutes. Oh my god. Anyway, I have more to say here. I have some more calculations. Uh, if you like it to have this particular uh, class in English, ask me to complete this. If not, whatever. But I could say that I gave it a try. And um, I, I teach physics and mathematics, of course, in Portuguese. As I told you, it's my mother tongue. I hope you excuse my English because I haven't been studying English for ages. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. So please, like it, because it is a lot of work. And anyway, um, have a good day. Bye.